Wow, what a great movie. After seeing everything, everywhere, all at once, I was super excited to come home and do a painting from the movie. This movie really blew me away. I didn't really know what to expect, but I was super impressed. This movie is combination action, sci-fi, comedy, drama, love story. It's got it all. What really attracted me was the evolution of the main character, Evelyn. Of course, I wanted to do a painting of Evelyn. I chose an image during the climax of the movie. Now, I don't want to tell you too much because I don't want to spoil it. So let's just talk about this painting. I am paying attention. Thanks, Evelyn. My name's Guinevere. I'm painting this with gouache paint and I'm using alizarin crimson, you know, cadmium red light, cadmium yellow, a little bit of burnt umber, and ultramarine blue. For my sketchbook, I am using this handbook by Speedball. It is hot press paper, which I actually haven't ever used before, so I'm giving it a try. Hot press is much smoother paper than cold press. Cold press kind of has the slight texture to it. One of the greatest things about painting from movies is you really have a pretty awesome image that you're working from. Movies have so many people working to make sure that that final image is exactly how they want it to be. So there's really a lot that you can learn from painting from movies. Because movies are excellent storytelling images, you can learn how they use the colors, the cropping, the costumes, the lighting, so many different things, the color grading to tell you the story. And these are all things that are really great to learn as a painter. You can kind of relate this to copying masters. Well, these are our modern masters of making amazing images, so why not learn from them? I am mostly an oil painter and I'm working with gouache here. So I'm very used to blending. And so you can see in this that I will often go back and forth with colors and try to blend. Now, unfortunately, this hot press paper didn't behave the same as previous watercolor papers that I've used. And so I was actually really struggling with the gouache absorbing into the paper too quickly. So I got frustrated with the face and moved on to the background. Even though I was using blending medium, it still was drying way too quickly. So let's talk about design elements in this image. We have the character looking directly into the camera and she's pretty much in the center of the composition and there's a bunch of chaos going on in the background. It's also pretty dark in the background. As I said before, this is during the climax. So we have the character in this dark place. She's directly in the center of the frame, which is putting all the attention on her. We're also very close into her face, which can emphasize an internal struggle or what's happening inside of her mind. Let me just tell you again how much I love this movie. First of all, when have you ever seen a big movie that had a Chinese immigrant woman as the main character? To me, this was just phenomenal. I absolutely loved it. Definitely go see this movie. Very busy today, a uh, whole time to help you. It's a very fun and super relatable movie. It's got some pretty sweet action sequences too. When gouache dries, it tends to look a little bit lighter because of its matte finish. And I don't use any black in my palette. So in order to get this background really dark, I had to mix a bunch of the dark colors to try to get a good dark. And it kept coming out really purple because the alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue were the strongest colors. In order to counter that, I used some of the raw umber and a little bit of cerulean blue. For the final stages, I do some slight value adjustments and then of course, the most fun part, highlights. For the value adjustments, there was a couple places on her face where I didn't feel you could see the contours of her cheeks as well. So I wanted to go in and make things a little bit darker to just define her face a little bit more. 
For the highlights, I took the highlight color, watered it down a little bit, put some dots on, and then dipped my brush into the blending medium so that I could blend it out more smoothly across the skin. Smooth highlights on skin create form, whereas sharp highlights make the face look a little bit too shiny. To learn more about my gouache palette, click this video.